so a uh, question for you. Uh, Nick Saban mentioned rat poison, I'm sure. Does he refer to it as rat poison to you as he does to the media? Does he refer to that? Yeah, I think we're all we're all just that's all just um that's all just um, inscribed in our brains at this point. Okay, so he does refer like that's the phrase he uses with you and normally the rat poison is what to you. Yeah, and, and normally it's yeah, he definitely he uses it with me, he uses it with all of us and that's normally, you know, the media talking about, you know, what we've done well and normally the media, you know, gassing us up about whatever um whether it be individually us as a team. Um normally that's, you know, normally that's what he's referring to. Um, and, you know, this past weekend, it was kind of a different opportunity for us to where um, we were kind of getting the opposite to where a lot of people didn't believe in us. A lot of people, um, you know, a lot of people were, were kind of putting negative things out there on, in, in the media about us. And, you know, he kind of talked to, you know, with that press conference after the game, um, you know, calling it, you know, calling the, 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 um, Rap poison, oh, yummy! Um, he was like, it was, it was just, yeah, it was yummy. It was, it was a good opportunity for us to where we normally it's about blocking out the the positivity in the media and blocking out hearing, oh, you're you're this good, you're that good. But this week it was, you know, allowing us to to use that as fuel and motivation and be able to kind of earn our respect. Um, so this week it kind of worked, in, you know in a different way than it normally does for us. So how did uh, Nick Saban employ the rat poison throughout the week leading up to Georgia? How did he, because again, this is, as you pointed out, a new thing where he's actually letting you in on what the media is saying as opposed to saying drown it out. It, it, yeah. it makes his job tougher for, for him to be a coach to make sure you're focused on the task at hand. How did he employ the rat poison this past week? Well, yeah, I mean, he doesn't, normally he doesn't even, doesn't have to really, really tell us what people are saying. You know, he we we always as a, as a team and he's always acknowledges that it's out there you know he's we're you know we're all we're you know it's you know in this day and age we all see stuff and we all we all hear stuff and it's impossible and unrealistic for us to just assume we never see anything and it's and we're never going to hear what the media says um but really typically it's it's in the past about it's just that challenge for us to push it to push it out and to block it out and to even though it might be noise in the background to make sure it stays just that as noise. But again, this week it was, it was easier to where, you know, again, we had still all heard the, all heard what the media was saying. And instead of us, you know, really having to block it out and, and not feed into it, we kind of were able to, um, you know, we kind of were able to use it as motivation. And again, it was an opportunity for us to, to earn our respect. And it's something we have to keep building off of. So he, he didn't specifically point something out, like here's something. He, yeah, no, not. I mean, there, there was, there was a, f a few specifics, but um, Come on. again, it wasn't really that, it wasn't really that necessary for us. Again, it was, yeah. you know, you, you hear what's going on, and we're all conscious of what's going on. It was just us, again, about us, just you know, earning that respect and getting back to the standard that we always, um, you know, that that we're so big on. So again, the, it's it's something that we have to keep continuing to do and keep building on for the future. What's the angriest you've ever made, Nick Saban? What's the angry, the most you've ever pissed That's him a off? Good question. Um, I was that let me think I think I would say I would say it was my freshman year mm -hmm. first game um I'd say it was probably my freshman year first game Missouri mm -hmm. and um when I first got here I had a big issue with carrying the ball mm -hmm. um in high school I would just run around with the ball with one hand um on the ball in the I'd have one hand on the ball almost in the pocket all the time I'd have one hand on the ball whenever I was extending plays mm -hmm. and and coach Saban would yell at me every single time in a rep that I had it, and that was pretty often. So I would get, I would get yelled at from from coach. I mean, every two minutes. I remember there was one two minute. And this is again me as a freshman. Um, we had won the two minute, and I had scrambled and 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 found someone downfield. We won, and I was super happy about it. And I turned around, and coach isn't, you know, and coach has nothing positive to say. He turns around and just starts yelling at me about having the ball out. Um, in my head, I'm thinking like, coach, I, I got away. I was fine. I had it under control, and the play worked. But he, you know, I, he he was just worried about the ball out. So fast forward, um, Missouri game. Um, this is kind of the end of the game. This is my first time playing mm -hmm. in college, and um, I think it's the second drive, maybe first second drive. I step up, try to try to move to the right, and again have one hand on the ball, mm -hmm. and someone tackles me, gets the ball out, and it's a fumble, and it's like on their 35, 40. So we have good field position. And um, I already knew going to what I got up, what I was gonna have to hear on the sideline. So I'm jogging over, and I feel like, I I know it wasn't that bad, but I felt like Coach met me 
like at the middle of the field. Um, he was, he was, he's livid. <laughs> just, just, be, and you know, rightfully so. It's something that he was preaching on since I first got there, and something I kind of just filed to the side is whatever, whatever, all, whatever. I'm gonna make it work. And then, kind of after that, I realized, like, oh, you know what? Every all this. All the all these rings, all these great teams, this great culture. Maybe coach knows a thing or two. Maybe that's the <laughs> So I've been I've been working on improving that ever since. So do me a favor, Bryce. If you are so fortunate to win the Heisman on Saturday, you should show it to coach and say, "See, he's got it tucked in there. All four <laughs> points of pressure in that football right there point to that trophy." Would you? <laughs> yeah, that, that'll be that's anytime the ball's out, good, bad, and ugly, whatever it is. He's always you're always gonna. Always going to hear from I love it. That's great. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.